Hey everybody, I'm going to be teaching you how Rubik's Cube notation works. What Rubik's Cube notation is, is that in an algorithm, you have a sequence of letters that tell you which sides of the cube you want to turn. Each of the six sides of the Rubik's Cube are associated with a letter and a symbol that tells you which of the sides you want to turn and what direction you want to turn it. For example, if you were to see a capital letter R, you would turn the right side of the cube clockwise. If you were to see a capital L, you would turn the left side of the cube clockwise. The upside is notated by the letter U. The downside is notated by the letter D. The front side is notated by the letter F. And the back side is notated by the letter B. If you see any of these letters by themselves in an algorithm, you're supposed to turn that side clockwise as if you were facing that side. So if you were to see a B, it looks like from here that you're turning this clockwise. But if you're facing that side, it's actually turning it counterclockwise. So what you, you need to turn it clockwise, even though from here it doesn't really look like clockwise. But that's just how it works. Now suppose an algorithm called for turning a side counterclockwise or twice. Um, you would get a symbol after that letter. For example, if you return the front side counterclockwise, you would see an F and either an apostrophe or an I. So FI or F apostrophe, sometimes called F prime. So FI or F apostrophe would be this. Same thing for every other side. So U prime or U apostrophe or U I would be this. R I would be this. L I or L prime or whatever you want to call it would be this and B prime would be this. So if you wanted to turn a particular side twice, you would see that letter and a two following it. So for example, an F two would be this an R two would be this L two would be this B two would be this U two would be this. And B2 would be this. And whenever you turn a side twice, it doesn't matter which direction you turn it, because no matter which direction you go, you still get the same outcome. Now I'm going to show you an example algorithm. So for the soon algorithm, the algorithm is R, U, R prime, U, R, U2, R prime. So be R, U, R prime, U, R, U2, R prime. And that's with the result you want to get. And Sometimes in an algorithm, you have places where you actually have to turn the cube a certain way. And the, turning the cube is usually just for ease of execution. And the depending on which way you want to turn the cube, you would see three different letters. You have X, Y, and Z, each represent turning the cube a certain way. And so X would be as if you're turning the cube on the X axis of a graph. So it would be turning it like this. And depending on whether you see an X prime or an X or an X2, X prime would turn it forward towards you. So this is X prime, just this. And then X would be like this. And then X2 would be like this. Now you also have a Y. Y would look like this. Y prime would look like this. And then Y2 would look like this. Then you have one more, it's a Z. And so Z would look like this. Z prime would look like this. And Z2 would look like this. And those are all based on actual graphs because we have the X axis, the Y axis, and the Z axis. And that's how you can remember which one you want to turn. Sometimes algorithms call for you to turn 
a side like this rather than this. And when you turn it like this, it would be notated by this letter, but instead of a capital letter, it would be a lowercase letter. So a lowercase r would be this. A lowercase r prime would be this. A lowercase r2 would be like that. A lowercase u would be like this. And then lowercase l would be like this. A lowercase d prime would be this and so forth. So now I'm going to show you one more example of a little bit more complicated algorithm. It's an algorithm of the PLLG series, and it uses those Y's and lowercase letters. I'm just going to show you an example of it. The algorithm is R, U, R prime, Y prime, R2, lowercase U prime, R, U prime, R prime, U, R prime, u r2 and this is the result you would want to get and so that's about it for rubik's cube notation i hope you actually understood everything i've said and please rate comment and subscribe